Hello, you are watching the special release of KC News. Rana Bank is on its way to disrupt the short-term recruitment market. Since its foundation in the December of 2016, the team of the project has been working towards launching an exchange in early 2018 where both employees and employers can trade skills for time and money. Rona Bank's ICO is indeed shaping up. According to Forbes, the crowdfunding back initiative, which ends next month, has attracted the equivalent of over 3,000 Bitcoin of investment to date. Funds raised during the ICO will contribute to the development and marketing of the platform. This remarkable success means a big step forward for the project and has already pushed its development to the third stage. ICO, the initial coin offering, is a way for people to invest in fintech companies offering a new digital currency. This helps to raise funds for a particular project in return for their cash. Contributors get a portion of the initial coin supply and if it's successful, then the company and the early adopters profit. Crowdfunding is conducted via the official website of the project and will consist of the LaborX Foundation, decentralized market space scheduled to launch in the first quarter of 2018, taking donations and providing tokens in recognition of such donations. Wide range of crypto coins are acceptable. LaborX will provide a unique intermediary address so participants of the ICO can confirm that their payments have been received and that such payments has immediately and automatically been set to the escrow address. An exchange rate for the crowd sale period is set on the extremely low level, just one bitcoin for 100 time tokens. Participants of the crowd sale will be rewarded with transaction fees every time labor tokens are created on various blockchains used by Kronobank. According to a preliminary development plan from Kronobank, for the different amounts of crowdfund sales, the venture project that a figure of between 10,000 and 20,000 Bitcoin will be required to see a fully decentralized version of the exchange to be completed. It reveals that funds in excess of 20,000 Bitcoins will be transferred to a security and a liquidity funds to what is described guarantee additional system integrity and stability. While the ICO is running, Kronobank doesn't stop the improvement of the project. The development update number 3 has been announced. Bug Bounty program by Kronobank has been launched earlier this month. Remunerations have recently been published in the official block of the project. Bug hunters will be paid up to 200 time tokens, which is an equivalent of 1-2 bitcoins, for finding flaws and disrupting the system by exploiting the source code. Runamind, backend platform for Kronobank entities and labor offering company smart contracts, is under the active development. According to the official blog of Kronobank, these contracts are also part of the bug bounty program. At the moment, most test and operation confirmation parts are done. User authentication, allosys management and smart contract upload features are finished. Developers of Kronobank are adding new features on the weekly basis. If the efficient pace remains, we soon will see an innovative platform in the field of smart contracts. As a part of the new development update, Chrono Bank has modified one of its major tools, Chrono Wallet. Team of the project have done a lot of work in order to add new exchange features, which will hopefully be available soon enough. Common user interface building guidelines are claimed to be produced for all Chrono Bank projects. Besides that, Kronobank has expressed its intention towards the development of the native mobile wallets for the iOS and Android platforms in the nearest future. Luke Anderson, blockchain consultant at Kronobank, has answered our most up-to-date questions. Hello Luke, let's start with the main idea of the project. What is Kronobank from a technical standpoint? From a technical standpoint, Kronobank really... It's, it's, it's what we call a stable coin whereby we, we tokenize something, for example, uh, there's an, another coin, Digix, which tokenizes gold. So gold's very uh, uh, difficult to pick up and carry around. Uh, so instead, we make a token that represents a piece of gold that's very easy to transfer. Right? Corona Bank does the same thing, but it does it for labor hours. It's very hard to take a, an hour of a person's time and move it around. So we tokenize that uh, and, and make it easy to transfer. Kronobank is expected to act as a guarantor of stable financial relations between employee and employer. Will these expectations be delivered? 
Certainly. So in the Chronobank system, there's several funds, the guarantee fund and different insurance funds to make sure that the, 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 the currency remains stable. If for something bad happens and certain, uh, certain organizations do default uh, on, on what they owe, then there are funds to, to mitigate that risk and ensure the system remains stable. What is the difference between time tokens and labor hour tokens? Why do you actually need two coins of tokens? So the labor hour tokens are the, the fundamental currency. They the, represent one hour of, of a person's time at, at average wage. The time tokens are specifically for raising money and for getting the platform off the ground. Uh, you know, building a system like this takes takes a lot of work, uh, and and the initial capital investment to uh, get all of the insurance and the guarantee funds going uh, to to raise the money for that, we sell the time tokens, and and that's basically it. They're like the share time tokens are the shares, where labor hour to labor hour tokens are the actual tokens themselves. To use the labor hour tokens during the ICO, do you mean, or? Um, well, because labor hour tokens haven't been invented yet, basically. So, in order to create labor hour tokens, Corona Bank has to uh, have a deal with uh, a labor offering company that, uh, that will actually provide the labor that backs those tokens. So, until those deals are organised, uh, Corona Bank is unable to produce the tokens. Third stage in the Chronobank's agenda is being noted as the creation of the Labour X exchange. What are its technical characteristics? What do you aim to achieve by applying the decentralized system? Uh, Labour X hasn't been completely designed in full yet. Uh, it's still definitely a work in progress. It's the second stage. But the idea of it is to remove the need of uh, uh, labor offering companies to back the tokens. If individuals can actually offer their own labor, um, and then they can work directly for, um, for, for labor hours. Uh, labor X is a system that is, is designed to facilitate that. Thank you, Luke. We continue. Corona Bank will use several different blockchains to issue and trade labor hour tokens, likely including Waves, Ethereum and NAM. According to the official block of the project, this decision is necessitated by the commitment to create a long-term blockchain-based solution for the labor hire industry. Corona Bank partners with Lika. Corona Bank has announced a partnership with mobile wallet and trading enterprise Lika, allowing users to trade Corona Bank's tokens for other currencies. Lika is a new but rapidly growing platform that allows users to trade fiat currencies, cryptocurrencies, and cryptographic tokens using either an iOS or Android device. There is a strong emphasis on user experience and low barrier to entry. Technical partnership was also concluded with Amacoin, a well-known and established cryptocurrency platform. Amacoin offers diverse blockchain services for businesses and individuals, providing a wide range of facilities that increase transparency, security and reliability. Chronobank recognizes the contribution that Amacoin is making to the blockchain infrastructure and will in future underpin many varied applications and looks forward to leveraging that knowledge and capability for our own business, commented Serhei Serhi and co-CEO of Chronobank. Project is now accepting the Amacoin as part of Crowdfound. Chronobank will be working with three separate elements of the Amacoin platform, each of which brings something new and valuable to the project. Additionally, Amacoin will consult with Chronobank concerning advanced financial instruments. Three ways are EMS SSL – capable infrastructure for passwordless authorization of web services. Certificates are created locally, with the blockchain acting as a decentralized draw store for hash sums. EMC SSH – technology allowing for secure and decentralized management of public key infrastructure. Credentials from the Amacoin blockchain can either be managed directly by users or managed on behalf of a group by administrators in charge of specific services. EMC DNS – a new service that enables the storage of universal name value pass on the blockchain. Amacoin also supports distributed DNS services and every Amacoin wallet contains a built-in DNS server. Visit coronabank.io to learn more about the development of the project and technical details. How to monetize your labor time? Why time-related currency is way better than fiat money? 
After short ads, you will get all the answers and discover even more about the time, released and money. Uber made a revolution in taxi business by allowing anyone to become a taxi driver. Drivers cash in their spare time for extra money and customers get a cheaper ride. Similarly, Upwork has created freelance industry by connecting professionals and their clients outside of traditional agencies. Chronobank will do the same with real-world professions that currently use recruitment, outsourcing or labor hire companies. E-commerce, warehousing, industrial, building, cleaning and more. Anyone will be able to sell labor time in their given profession, making it easy and low cost to recruit talent and pay for their services without any middleman. The first stage of our project is to create multi-blockchain labor hours, sustainable, stable coins that are protected from inflation. In contrast to national currencies, labor hours will be backed by real labor time provided by major recruitment companies around the world. The second stage is to create Labor X, a decentralized marketplace where people in the real world professions will be able to sell their labor time to anyone without middlemen, just as easily as Uber drivers or Upwork freelancers do. Get on board at the beginning of the revolution in recruitment with Chronobank. The idea of time banking didn't appear spontaneously. Debates on this matter have been carrying through the last couple of centuries. Check out chronobank.io and don't miss the next case in you special release. Think outside the box and don't stay behind the times. See you in a week.